Coming up, we're going to take a diorama base and make it fit for the Eastern Front. But as always, before we start, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future content. Okay, so you've made your diorama base, but you want to add some ice and snow effects to it to really give it that cold and winter look. There are tons of products on the market that claim to do this. Many, however, I've found tend to look pretty naff. They're either pastes that look more like you're making an ice cream sundae, or homebrew powders like baking soda and things that kind of yellow and fade over time. That's why I use this, Precision Ice and Snow from Crysell. It's a really amazing product that I've used for a lot of years now, and it's my go-to for creating snowy winter scenes. I bought the complete kit a long, long time ago, and it's lasted us years. It's not a paid promotion, I'm not bigging this, these guys up, I just really like the product. The product itself is a very fine, non-toxic powder, and it's designed to be sprinkled onto the diorama, well, just like snow, and it gives a really, really good effect, and it's really satisfying results in the end. The manufacturer recommends that you use the adhesive that comes in the pack, and whilst, yes, this is probably best in practice, it does, however, mean you need something to spray it on with, namely, an airbrush. But as I didn't have an airbrush for a while when I first started the hobby, I used hairspray instead. I would recommend you get the cheapest one you can, as I find them to be stickier, and don't go using your wife's 15 pound cans unless you're on a death wish. To start, simply hold the can about 20 to 30 centimeters from the model and mist over a few light coats of hairspray. Then, while it's still wet, load your sieve up with the ice and snow powder. Put some paper underneath to stop any falling straight through. Then, it's just a case of sprinkling the snow effect on, gently tapping the sieve to get a nice even snowfall. The key to this one is not to be tempted to put it all down at once and to build up the layers. Once you're satisfied with your first pass, leave it to dry for a few minutes. Then, again at a decent distance, add another coat of the hairspray and repeat the sprinkling process with the powder. Again, making sure to only put a light build up each time. You can also mask off areas to simulate pathways and roads etc. Simply use masking tape or even strips of paper. Then apply the snow as normal, building it up in thin layers until you're happy with the result. When it comes to clean up, just take some Tamiya thinners on a brush and lightly blend the powder onto the track or path so it blends and looks a bit more natural. You can also use weathering products like muds to create splashes and slush and things like that to give it an even better look. When you're happy with the effect, finish up by adding one last coat of hairspray to fix everything down and then leave it for a few hours to set. Be careful not to overdo the hairspray though. You don't want to turn it into a sort of gloopy, horrible mess, but if you do, don't worry, just add a few light coats of the powder over to get that powdery fresh snow look back. And that is basically it. I've used this technique on loads of builds over the years and I've had some excellent results. For me, it's pretty much the best snow product available at the minute. It's a little messy, but super easy to use. I've used it on Star Wars dioramas, Warhammer minis, and even on this Night King figure that I did before Game of Thrones went shit. Anyway. Like most things in this hobby, the main thing to remember is to take your time and to build up the layers in thin, even coats and to avoid the temptation to put the layers down all at once. So all that's left for me to say is thanks for listening and I hope that this has helped at least one person out there and if you've enjoyed this video or any other videos, please don't hesitate, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, bye bye.